it's an excruciating waiting game. Family and friends of reporter James Foley have been holding out hope for his safe return since his kidnapping in Syria one year ago tomorrow. His parents, John and Diane Foley, join me in just a moment. But first, James Foley's employer, Global Post, has been working tirelessly to bring him home. And his boss, Phil Balboni, told us a few weeks ago that there's reason to be optimistic. We have these images of Syria because of the work of journalists like James Foley. The Global Post correspondent had just finished reporting on the intense fighting in Aleppo last November when he was kidnapped. From that day until this very moment, we have not heard from Jim. We've had no communication from the kidnappers, um, no ransom demands. Global Post CEO Phil Balboni says Foley is one of five American journalists now being held captive in Syria. But he admits having few clues to Foley's whereabouts. The Syrian government has denied, um, even at the highest levels, uh, President Assad himself, that uh, Jim is being held by the government. We can find no credible evidence that he was being held by one of the jihadist groups. So we, um, we know more than we can say, but that's where things stand right now. And the investigation is still very active. As for the kidnapper's motive... Balboni says he can only speculate. They don't seem to have a plan for what to do with them. Um, Matthew Schreier, who is the American journalist who was held by al-Nusra, he was kidnapped uh, on December 31st of last year, and he escaped uh, in July. It was his belief that they, there was no end game for them. They didn't intend to release them. They didn't need money. Um, they liked having them. I mean, it was almost as if it was like a trophy. James Foley's family has launched its own efforts to bring him home tomorrow. They'll mark the anniversary of his capture by hosting a global day of prayer. And James' parents, John and Diane Foley, are here. Thank you. How do you know, Diane, even some of the specifics, like a silver bit band with three men, armed men, how, how do you know those kinds of specifics? Well, we did. there were two witnesses. To, you know, there was um, Jim's driver and his translator who were let go. So we, they were the ones who told us um, who had captured him and that he had been captured at gunpoint. Did they know he was a journalist? The people who captured him seemed to know he was a journalist. Um, we don't know that for sure. We don't know that for sure, though, do we? Now, Phil Bamboni says the Assad government has completely denied this, that they have no involvement, they do not know of his whereabouts. But from what I can glean from what Phil Balboni told us, he believes that it is the Assad regime and, and likely not the jihadists. Do you believe that? Well, um, it's certainly possible. I think Diane and I um, would like to keep all possibilities open. We certainly haven't had any contact yet, despite... Uh, major efforts, so um, I think we're pretty much assured that he's in Syria, but we don't know where exactly or by, held by whom. We know. really don't know. Um, I, we, do, we feel less certain that we know who has him, Emily. Have either one of you personally spoken to Matthew or any of the other reporters that were held for a period of time? Um, well, I've talked to John, talk